Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Thursday today, if you're watching this on a Thursday. Um, so this video is gonna be kind of like a random mashup of a few things and topics that I've been wanting to chat about. And um, I also wanna apologize for not uploading a video in the past week and a half. It has just been an interesting week and a half for my family and myself. All good things, all blessings, but you know, life just happens and um, priorities take place and this was not high on the totem pole of priorities for me. Um, but I know there are some things that you guys keep asking about and that is why I'm doing these videos because it's um, a great way to kind of archive information and refer my clients to these videos for issues and topics and things that you guys ask and I want to chat about and I just want to record. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a castor oil pack. So first of all, this is how I store my castor oil pack. And first of all, actually before all that, let me just tell you what it is. So um, it's kind of an ancient, not practice, but um, natural remedy that a lot of different um tribes and ancestors back when used to do and it used to be very common in the hospital setting um but like when big pharma took over the conventional medical model that kind of went out the window but it has stayed in the holistic realm and it is very effective what you use a castor oil pack for is for your liver and that your liver is your biggest detoxification organ and when you use the castor oil pack the castor oil is put on a wool cloth, which I'll go over all this in a minute, put on your liver and it's soaked directly into your liver because remember your, your organ, what's your biggest organ? That's your skin. And so anything that goes onto your skin is going to be directly absorbed into your body via your bloodstream and then taken to different cells of your body. And so, um, the castor oil is, um, opens up that detoxification pathway in the liver and, um, allows it, it just assists it in a way um, that helps it detoxify. And so any ways in our modern world that we can assist detoxification and open up those detoxification pathways is really beneficial because in the world we live in, we are very bombarded in today's society with toxins in our environment, in our air, in our water, in our food. And that can become our detoxification pathways. It can cause them to become sluggish or kind of backed up. And um, like most of my clients know, I love to utilize easy, simple remedies and the castor oil packs are one of them. So what you do is you're going to take a wool cloth like I have here. And I have the large one. Um, um, there's a few different sizes, but you get a wool cloth and this one's already soaked with the castor oil. So bright, there we go. Um, but it will just be dry when you first get it if you've never used it the first time. So we're gonna act like you haven't used it yet. So this will be dry. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your castor oil, which I don't have any with me here, but you're gonna take your big thing of castor oil, which is just a liquid oil. It's very thick, almost like a thick olive oil, thicker than olive oil, but it's kind of that same consistency and you're going to drench it. And so um, that was one of the questions I had was, how much do I use to saturate the cloth? You're gonna saturate it totally. So it's going to be, it's not gonna be dripping because that oil is super thick, but you're just gonna, I, what I do is I take it kind of like this over my hand, and then I squirt it like this and just kind of mesh it together, and then I'll do it on this side until it's totally saturated. So this can be messy, so you may wanna wear um, some old clothes when you do it or some old PJs and then lay on like an old towel or blanket. Um, and then you're going to fold, once it's saturated, you're going to fold this completely up into a um, little pack here about the size of your hand. So you can see that this is about the size of my hand, okay? And then we're going to take it, once it's saturated, you're going to take it and you're going to lift your shirt up, which I'm not going to do here and you're going to place it over, so you're seeing this opposite view. Your liver is on your right side of your stomach, right underneath your rib cage, your last rib cage here. It's all up kind of underneath it, and then all down even 
um, going down to where your ovary is, or if you're a male, down by your right hip bone. And your, your, your pack should kind of cover that whole area. But the majority of it's gonna be on your liver, and you're gonna place it over that area. And then on top of this, you can put a plastic bag or um, something to protect your heating source. But if you don't care about it getting messy, just go ahead and take your heating source on top of it. This can be a hot towel. This can be a heating pad, like an electric heating pad. It can be a pad that you warm up in the microwave, but you want some sort of heat source. So you're gonna place that on top of the um, castor oil pack, or like I said, you can put that barrier in between like a plastic Walmart bag or something like that to protect it from getting onto your heat source and you're gonna place it on your liver. So you're placing it here, bag on top if you want, heat source on top of that, and you're gonna lay down. And you're going to let this soak into your body for about 30 to 45 minutes, and you can do it longer if you'd like. Um, but that's gonna be the minimum. And do it in the evening because it can make you very sleepy. Um, I find this is almost like a natural like sleeping aid. It's very, very warming, very comforting, and very healing and so your body really likes this and um so after you have done the castor oil pack all you're going to do is you're going to take it fold it up take a mason jar and you're just going to stick it in there and this way you can reuse the pack over and over and over so i've got it in there i'm going to take my airtight lid you can buy these on amazon and put it in your fridge. And you can use this same wool cloth and pack about 30 times before you'll need to buy a new cloth. So I recommend, um, if you're my client, you already know, but I recommend using these four nights on, three nights off. So that could look like Monday night through Thursday night and then taking Friday, Saturday, Sunday off the weekend because we're usually busy and out and about anyways. And then start again Monday through Thursday, take Friday through Sunday off. Um, so this should last you a month and a half if you do that pattern. Um, and yeah, so this is just a great way, like I said, to detoxify. It's an easy way. I'm going to set it down and then I'm going to go wash my hands. But it's an easy way to open up that detoxification pathway and allow your body, assist your body in allowing it to detox like it was made to do. So when I come back on here, I'm going to also show you the L massage and then we're going to chat beauty and coffee. But I'll be back. Hey guys, okay, I'm gonna show you the L massage and I'm gonna demonstrate it on my son Emmett. And so here we go. I'm going to switch you around. Okay, so doing this on Emmett, you can do this on yourself, but what you wanna do is lay down on your back. He's gonna hold a shirt. Normally you wanna do this with no shirt on so you can really get a good grip, otherwise your shirt could get in the way. But what you're gonna do, his ribs are right here. And so we're gonna start on his left side. This is the left side. This is gonna be where your stomach is. So your liver is over here. This is where we did the castor oil pack. But over here is his stomach. And so we're going to follow the pathway that when food is digested, it's going to go down here and then over to the stomach. And then we're gonna follow that pathway. So we're going to start here and you're going to put push pretty firm. Like the stomach should go in whenever you push it. And you're gonna go down to about the hip bone and you'll feel it and then you're gonna go over. And you're gonna do this three times. So two and then three, does it hurt? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> and then the next time on the um, fourth time, you're gonna do it four times and then on the fourth time, you're gonna go up. And you're just gonna go up to about where his rib starts there. So down, over, down, over, down, over, and then on the fourth time, you're gonna go up. And this L massage, for those who are not my clients, who don't know what that is, Emmett, thank you so much. Okay, so this L massage is going to, um, since we're following the direction of the, um, the digestive pathway, so we're starting at the stomach and we're gonna go down into the intestines, and then what this does at the end when we go up, this actually is going to make sure that any, any bugs or bacteria, that good bacteria and good bugs that need to be in the um, small intestines or that needs to be in the large intestine is going into the large intestine from the small intestine. 
And so what we can get what's called small intestinal bacteria over bacterial overgrowth, which is basically where the good bacteria that needs to be in the large intestines overgrows into the small. And so we want to reverse that. And by doing this massage that allows that, but it also allows your body and just for assisting the body in digesting the food, following along that pathway. This is really good for stomach aches. It's really good for constipation. It's really good for if you're just having some indigestion and bloating, this massage is great to do. And if you are on my client, especially if you're on the digestive reset, you know that, um, we do that along with massaging some frankincense and peppermint into that um, area to just help assist digestion. This is a great way to um, just help our body. Any way that we can help it in these little tweaks and little simple changes, that's when we see, um, that's when we start seeing things to become effective. Remember, consistency is key, doing something over and over and over until you see and achieve the results you're looking for. So that is the L massage. Although I think if you're doing it, right, if you're doing it on yourself, it would be like an L, but if you're doing it on someone else, it's a backwards L maybe, or is it, oh. Yeah, it would be a backwards L. But anyways, we call it the L massage. It's just kind of a known um, naturopathic trick that we use and it's beneficial, especially on, especially on babies and kids. So anyways, hope that helps and I'll be back soon.